Right, so we go to mass fats, right? Um, so in J fats, we discuss the depletion of the channel uh, using PN junctions. That's the gate, right? But instead, for mass fats, we are using reverse bias short key barriers. Okay, the operation is very uh, similar to J fats. All right, the only difference is you have a metal semiconductor to be used as a contact for the gate electrode. Right? Okay. Now. Um, you can actually use this all right, uh, for high speed digital or microwave circuits because um, the simplicity of the short key barriers you can fabricate uh, in close geometrical tolerances okay? so there is a speed advantage especially if you use 3-5 compounds such as gallium arsenide or indium phosphide whereby you have higher mobility and carrier drift Right? Okay. Now, you can either have it in a de depletion mode where it is always on. So basically, there's a current flow even though you don't switch on your gate or the gate voltage is zero. Or you can have it on an always off mode. Okay. Where obviously uses less power. Now, when the gate voltage is zero, you don't have any conducting channel. So there's nothing going through. Right? Only up to a threshold voltage will start to have a channel current flow. Okay. You can also make use of MOSFETs into creating HEMT. This is high electron mobility transistor. Another name for it is MOSFET. It's the same thing. Okay. MOSFET stands for modulated dope field effect transistor. Okay. Right. Because um, the reason why you can create this hemp is because you can do some band gap engineering with the 3-5 compounds, right? In order to maintain the high uh, transconductance in the MOSFET, the channel conductivity must be as high as possible. Okay. Um, so one way is uh, you increase the doping. Although if you increase too much, it will cause um, increase scattering by the ionized impurities which would bring the mobility down so a way of creating a high electron concentration in the channel of a MOSFET by some means other than doping is to grow a thin undoped well which is the gallium arsenide bounded by a wider gap material okay the doped barriers which is aluminium gallium Arsenide. This is why they call it the modulation doping. It means you modulate the doping. There's doping and there's no doping. There's doping and then there's no doping. Alright. So this is the hemp or the mod fat. Okay. Now. This effect is especially strong at low temperatures. Okay. Because you don't have any more lattice or phonon scattering. Okay. It's very low in low temperature. Basically freeze out. Lah. Okay. So the advantages of a hemp is um, obviously over silicon MOSFETs, it has higher mobility, so maximum electron velocity, okay, and the smoother interface, okay, a smooth interface possible with an algas gas heterojunction compared with if you have silicon silicon oxide interface, okay. So the smooth interface means that you can have a high performance, right? In an extremely high cutoff frequency, okay? So speed is the way to go with these hemp devices, all right? Okay. Now, this is an example of a MOSFET, okay? So you have the flow between the source to the drain, right? So the source and the drain channels are here and this uh, generally um, we put a thin layer of lightly doped n-type gallium arsenide either grown epitaxially okay normally grown epitaxially like using MBE <coughs> so this forms the channel region of the fat okay and then obviously you can do photolithography so you can uh, put the source, the gate, and the drain contacts on. Okay, now this is the depletion layer here. 
okay just below the gate now by reverse biasing the short key gate the channel can be depleted to the semi-insulated substrate okay so this goes towards the semi-insulated substrate when you provide the negative bias okay and the resulting IV characteristics characteristics are similar to the JFET device as you can see here right so the difference between the normally on and the normally off MOSFETs okay obviously the normally on you get conducting channel okay so there's current flowing through when the gate voltage is off okay obviously it comes to a certain point when you increase the drain voltage here it will come to a pinch off and the current will no longer increase with increasing voltage so you get saturation of current here right but as you provide a negative bias okay you are restricting the flow all right so pinching off occurs earlier just like the GFETs okay so that's the whole idea of putting uh, uh, the gate voltage here okay the more negative you go the earlier the pinch off occurs all right so basically the voltage that you would see at a threshold once you reach a threshold voltage okay you will see an increase in current up to a static current value right now Conversely, for an off MOSFET, what you will see is at zero gate voltage or during the off state, okay, normally off, there is no current flow or very little, alright, actually no current flow lah. So as you increase, as you provide a positive voltage, what happens is this part here gets smaller and so you are providing more flow between the source and the drain so a as you increase the gate voltage what you will see is the pinch off occurs later right so at a certain threshold voltage only will you get a current going in okay right so that's regarding the mass fed so i shall